Plus 12 versus Core cool Unity. We are outside for the Empire Strikes Back. We're out in the courtyard, and next up is the MC Elite. Hello, how you doing? All right? Good, are you having a good night? I am very much so, yes. Yes, been here from the start. Yeah, kicking already. Look at it. It is. Everybody's, everybody's sort of milling outside. They're in the different rooms. You know what I mean? Everyone's got their own thing that they're doing, they're into. So it's all That's good. it. Uh, Tell us a bit about yourself. Where have you come from? Because obviously you're relatively new to this, aren't you, in the grand scheme of things? Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty new to the, well, I'm pretty new to the mainstream. Um, I've been doing this for the last 10 years, really. Uh, you know, it's a lot of hard work and all that. Uh, just kind of work your way up, didn't you? You keep doing it and, um, yeah, just keep on going, really. That's it. Yeah, I'm a little bit new to it. Um, I'm the old mainstream, but, yeah, eventually got here. You're kicking it now. Obviously, you're on quite a lot of lineups. That's why yeah, on quite a lot of lineups. I mean, I, I, you know, I've got to give uh, big shout outs to a lot of uh, 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 a lot of rave brands, you know, Fusion, uh, Ipersonic, who I've worked with quite closely, uh, The Barn, obviously, Total Barnage, uh, and a lot of them have given me opportunities, um, you know, to have sets and, uh, you know, put across what I want to do, and uh, yeah, it's really helped me along along the way so far. Yeah, big time. Who inspired you though? Who got you into it? Who 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 were you big on before you did it? Uh, well, how I got into hardcore? Yeah. Uh, pretty much, I got it's in. Got brown, it? Yeah, I mean, I'm, brown, I'm, I'm, I mean, I, I got I got showed a few old, a few old brave tapes, and it kind of went from there. And um, I actually wanted to be a DJ before I was an MC, and. Uh, yeah, that didn't really work out, so then I started writing lyrics and uh, yeah, it kind of just went from there and uh, I built it up over the years and uh, yeah, just kept going from there really. Yeah. What drives the lyrics? What inspires the lyrics for you? Uh, to be quite honest with you, I mean, I, I like to write about real stuff that um, people can relate to. I mean, I, I, I'll never do a lyric that someone can't relate to. I mean, whether it's about my life experience uh, or maybe someone else's that I know. You know, I like to write uh, write about real stuff, so that when people hear it, they can turn around and say to themselves, yeah, I can relate to that, and uh, yeah, I know exactly what he's going on about. Okay. And who are your heroes, MC-wise? MC-wise, I mean, I grew up listening to Sharky, Odyssey, um, and MC Storm, but I... Uh, yeah, Old Lively, yeah. But, um, but I... Yeah, old Lively, can you? And his bag of granny porn. <laughs> 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 He'll thank you for that. No, that happened. <laughs> he did that. He bought. He actually got granny porn out, didn't he, in front of us? That's a true story. That true. Happened. No, that happened. But no, I'd probably say whiskey. Whiskey, really, because I mean, whiskey's talked about a lot of um, personal experiences through with his life. And like I said, I feel that it's uh, when people hear something they can relate to, they really take you a lot more seriously. And if you're quite clear spoken and they can understand what you're saying, I think that goes a long way. So I'd say that whiskey, yeah, Gold Gordon, yeah, he's given me a lot of guidance and he's been a very good. Yeah, very good friend to me. And obviously you're playing a lot more Plus 12, Core cool Unity, we've got a lot more events coming up, obviously we're, we're getting you involved. What's your views on those events from, a, from an artist point of view? Um, well, to be quite honest with you, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm exceedingly grateful for being involved with it, but I feel that Core cool Unity, Plus 12, events like this are what uh, are keeping... Uh, ke you bastard. <laughs> Uh, keeping the scene alive, really. I mean, without events like this, I mean, you can't just survive on your Ravens Reunited, your Slamming Vinyls, your Arcore Evans, all the stuff like that. With all these smaller events, it does keep the scene alive, and I feel that, you know, look at the fucking turnout tonight, do you know what I mean? I, I think this is showing that the Arcore scene's very much alive, and that, uh, you know, you don't need to pack an, a venue with a thousand people just to have a good time. It's, it's speaking for itself, isn't it, really? And we're going to see a little bit more of you coming out a little bit later on, aren't we? Yeah, you're going to see me later, two to three, with uh, DJ Sharky. You're with Sharky, aren't you? Sharky, yeah. That must be a sweaty challenge. It, it, <laughs> <laughs> it is really, because he's a DJ and he's an MC, but uh, yeah, I've had a little chat with him. Uh, I know what, what he expects from me and uh, I know what to expect from him on my deck. So yeah, very much looking forward to it and I hope you lot do too. Okay. What's 20 plus 12? What's 20 plus 12? So don't ask me, I'll shit him, man. <laughs> I love that question, it just throws everyone. Right, Elite, I love you, man. I love this kid. Right, take it easy, fella. That's the MC Elite, I'm John Babbitt. Let's take a break, we'll be back in a second. Don't go away.